<laughs> yeah, that's right. We've got chicken on the menu, and we are doing a stir fry. And this is a recipe, an adapted recipe from my childhood chicken stir fry with mangoes. It sounds a bit strange, but I can tell you it's absolutely fantastic. We've got the chicken, we've got lots of flavors uh, ginger, garlic, we've got some asparagus in there, new season stuff, fresh mangoes, or you can use tinned if you want, and cashew nuts for a nice bit of texture in there and a little bit of heat and some honey. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And Shay had to make it a little bit later. Now it's over to Mel. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. Mark, a mango stir fry. Can I just say, these ingredients look absolutely brilliant. So what have we got here? A bit of asparagus. Well, we've got some asparagus, some spring, spring onions. onions. I mean, that's a classic in uh, Chinese cookery. Yep. Mangoes as well, so that's something a little bit different. Yeah, it nice. gives a nice sweetness there. Uh, obviously the chicken and lots of sweet flavours as well. We've got orange, we've got um, honey in there as well. Yeah. A little bit of heat and then some saltiness from the soy. Fresh ginger. So it's going to be really sort of sweet, say, well, a little bit savoury, but more sort of sweet, yeah. fresh. Fresh. With the asparagus. Nice. And um, is this one, did you say, one of your childhood <laughs> favourites? Yeah, yeah. So, so I used to have a, or mum used to cook a dish like this at home. Nice. And, uh, and we used to uh, just tempura the chicken. Nice. But then we had this sauce with the mango in. And I think the first time I had it, I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> horrible. It's just like, you know, don't put anything sweet with savoury. But uh, two, three more times of being forced to eat it. I love it now. He loves great, it now. And that's Good. why I'm going to show you this recipe. Right, well, let's get it underway. So we're going to be using corn-fed free-range yep. ring and okay, chicken. Yeah, so we've got the chicken, so you can yep. just slice it. So we just okay, do nice cool. thin slices. Okay. So it's all about, um, we're going to stir-fry this, so nice and even, thin slices, and uh, nice and thin so it cooks really fast. Okay, cool. So this whole dish is, um, it's going to be really fast once we actually start cooking. But then obviously there's a lot of, uh, well, there's a little bit of prep to do before we cook it. Okay, So we're cool. just going to slice the chicken. Is that about right? That sort of size. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, perfect. Cool. That's perfect. Um, you can pop it in the bowl, and then we'll put a little bit of uh, corn flour over the top, and a little yep. bit of soy, and then that's just going to help thicken the sauce a little bit later. Oh, okay, cool. Right, and then we've got some uh, asparagus. So mm -hmm. this beautiful asparagus now, which you can get in the supermarkets. So you've got a little woody bit at the end. Okay, yes. so you can see this is where it sort of comes out, and it's really woody down here, about sort of an inch and a half or so. Um, maybe a little bit longer, and you don't want to have that woody bit. So the best way, you can either just chop the bottom off, yeah. or you can just sort of snap it. Okay. Like that. And where it snaps, that's where the uh, woody bit ends. So, so you get rid of the bottom part. the most of it. Yeah. And then you're left with this, so we can just slice that. So we're going to slice these as well. So the stir-fry, as we said before, everything's going to cook really fast, so you want to, you want to cook it nice and, uh, or cut it nice and sort of thin. Okay. So we're just going to cut these on the angle. And asparagus as well, I mean, it's beautiful, nice and fresh like this. It's really nice raw as well, so, you know, you just want to almost warm it and just slightly soften it. You don't want to keep cooking it until it goes brown and really soggy, you know? You want that crunch and texture, and that's going to keep everything fresh. You know, I used to hate uh, asparagus. Did you? you Were know, you forced to eat it? No, no, <laughs> no, I just, you know, I just never really liked the taste of it. But as I got older, I just come to love it now, it's fantastic. Okay, so my chicken slice, what do I need chicken to do Chicken slice, so pop that in the bowl. Yep. I'm just going to chop some spring on it. No, bowl, bowl, oh, bowl. bowl. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Should I put it in the bowl now or just keep yeah, cooking no, no, it? No, 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 put it in the bowl. Put it in the bowl. It. It's, okay, it's all cool. about steak. It's right. going to be really fast <laughs> when, we're, when we're ready to cook. Oops. Okay, right, in the bowl. Yes. So a little bit of corn flour over the top. So okay. just sprinkle it over and then just give it a nice stir around so it's all coated. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a fork. And some stir that. and some soy sauce, did you yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, and a little bit of soy sauce. So not all of it, so probably about a tablespoon. Oh, shoot. Jeez, what is going on? <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's it. So a little bit there, and then it's just sort of a, a light marinade, and we're still going to start okay, getting cool. the flavours into the chicken, and then that corn flour is going to start thickening it after. Okay, right. right. <laughs> so <laughs> this is a bowl, <laughs> and that's a fry pan. <laughs> just thought I'd clear that up. <laughs> right, and then so we're going to make our little sauce now, which is going to um, be around the chicken. Do you trust pan. me to make the sauce, or should yeah. I just leave you to yeah. do it? Do it in a bowl. <laughs> yeah. so there's a small bowl here, right? Yeah. So we've got a little bit of orange juice, honey, the rest of the soy. Uh -huh. You can go in there, and then we've got a little bit of chilli sauce as well. Orange juice, honey. Yeah, that's in there. And you want all of that in there? Yeah, yeah, that all in there. That amazing. Yeah. And a little bit of the uh, chilli sauce there as well. And then, so I've got these mangoes. So they are quite firm, you know, as, and they're not too bad if they're, if they're firm. They still want to have a little give, give in them, so there's a bit of flavour in there. But if they are firm, it's quite good, because we are going to heat it, and it is going to soften slightly. Okay. okay. So you're probably best to buy a mango, which is a little bit firmer then too soft if you're actually going to cook with it. OK, nice. I think we So the soy sauce in there, the chilli in there. We tried to find some softer ones for you, mate. No, no, it's good. What's that? This will be good. Chilli sauce. In there? Yeah, a little bit in there. OK, cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and this? 
Uh, no, 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 we're going to stir fry that. So I'm just going to peel the mango. <laughs> so it's really good. So if, as long as your mangoes is not like really, really, really ripe, you can peel it and then right. you can maximize that. And then remember, you've got a stone in the mango. So I'm just going to take the cheeks off and then we'll cut that in a bit later. And then it's going to do it in some nice strips. Nice work. OK, cool. Well, we'll carry on here. I'll try and sort out my bowls from my fry pans and we'll come back very soon. We'll see the next step straight after we catch up with Holly. OK, so <laughs> all of our ingredients are pretty much ready. Yeah, yeah so, this, so this is the thing. So stir fries are really fast. Yep. But you need to have everything ready first and then it's fast. OK, if cool. If you start cooking it and then start chopping it, it's just not going to work. Right, so we've got some rice noodles. So just going to just sort of lightly separate them, put them in a bowl, and then we've got some boiling water there, and we're just going to pour that over. OK, cool. So you can do that. <laughs> and then we've got a wok. Yes. So a bit of oil in there. And then we're going to start stir-frying some flavours in there. So I've got a little bit of um, ginger. Mm -hmm. So just some crushed ginger. Nice and hot. Very hot. I'm going to put the cashew nuts in now. The cashew nuts, bless you. <laughs> I've got some garlic going in there and yep. the whites of some spring onion. OK, so, just the whites. Yep, just the whites, so we get the flavour and we'll use the tops, the green part, just to finish the dish after. So this is stir-frying, OK? So you're frying, you can see the heat, and we're stirring. It's not Brilliant. hard cooking. No. Right, and then we get the chicken in there, so keep, keep the heat on there. And then, you know, you want a really good heat. If it needs a little bit more oil, you can put a splash in as well. OK. Don't want to put too much oil in there. And then you just want to start cooking this chicken now. So you're just frying your stir. <laughs> stir Pretty frying. much. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Brilliant, there you go. Right, so Got we're going to get this. Uh, so wait until the chicken's all sort of like, you know, half sealed off so it's, uh, it doesn't look raw anymore. It's still going to be a little bit raw in the centre, but then that's the time we're going to put our sauce in there. OK, cool. OK, so really, really fast, so you really need that heat. How do you know when it's about right? Is it just the colour on the outside? Yeah, I mean, you can look at it and it sort of look cooked, but then you want to feel it as well, you know? If it's okay. still sort of soggy and spongy in the centre, you know it's raw, you know? It's nice. just going to be exactly like, like this, you know? If it starts firming up, you know it's cooking. That is brilliant. OK, because we've got some dancers, we've got some hip-hop stars, they're all going to be hungry. Yeah, I know, yeah, we're going to make a big big bowl full. Asparagus is going in now. Nice. <laughs> so, as we said before, it doesn't take long to cook. No. OK, so we're just pretty much warming it. We want that nice texture in there. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just going to go a little bit more. When are we going to put our, our marinade, our sauce in? Yeah, we're going to put our sauce in now. Handmade by me. Yeah. <laughs> So sauce, sauce goes in now, so you've got the heat, so it's going to bring to the boil. Mm -hmm. So it's going to mix with that corn flour as well, what we put over the chicken, and that's going to thicken slightly, OK? OK. Yeah, so, so you bring it to the boil, and you just Gee, finish it. smells so good. And it's so fast, and you just want to keep stirring it and make sure that chicken's cooked. But literally, it's only going to take us another sort of minute or so. OK, you can keep flipping it. It's on there. Last minute, we'll put the spring onion tops on. And once we're pretty much cooked on the chicken, I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. I'm just going to sprinkle the mango over, and then that just wants to warm up, you know? You're just warming that. You don't need to cook it, and that's how fast it is. And we are pretty much ready to go. Look at that. Maybe brilliant. about another 30 seconds. So you've got about that five to ten in. minutes of prep time, five yeah. to ten minutes of cooking time, oh, 20 less. minutes, dinner is ready. Oh, definitely. definitely. Love it. <laughs> nice work. The recipe we put on the cafe.co.nz, that recipe and all the others. Fantastic. OK, cool. Yeah, it's great. I'm just finished putting the finishing touches on there. Noodles, Brilliant. a little bit of coriander on top. And there you go. Good to go. Fantastic. Look at that. You're right. It looks fresh, looks fragrant. Yum. It's going to taste delicious. Healthy as well.